Hello, it is very common that we would need to run to give a SSML simulation and a modern version of the Python. However, in Katia Magic, this is limited to the older version of the Python. So today we will discuss the method how to integrate a new version of the Python with Katia Magic. And it is quite a straightforward method. So here we see this uh, Python running like a modern UI. You know, we can put uh, as anything, you know, what Py modern Python supports, you know. And uh, as you can see here, those are inputs going directly here to Katia Magic. And see those properties updates. And this is the output which comes here uh, by directional communication, right? So now let's see how this works. Let's close it. Let's make this bigger. So let's see the architecture, solution architecture. So first of all, we have this uh, UI Python file, which is gets executed by Katia Magic. So we call it, you know, and it starts running, right? So here we have this UI, right? And who calls it is actually in Katia Magic. We can call it from opaque behavior. Here we have opaque behavior, and this is the code, sample code to call this custom Python file. And it executes, you know, and then runs. So let's take a look how it looks like. See, I call it, it's running, right? So take a look at this uh, script, you know, how it looks like uh, in the sample project file, right? Uh, but next thing, what happens is when you call this Python file, so it can run anything, but it also synchronizes properties with the FMU, which is added to Katia Magic. So this FMU is now synchronizing with that Python file. How this synchronizing, you can generate using device drivers library from uh, Modelica, the MOLA. Also, you can use Python uh, to generate uh, uh, FMU uh, using an added uh, to the tool which supports FMI standard. Uh, and this Python file should establish the communication. So it shouldn't send uh, data and uh, wait for the data, you know, so it should establish the communication with external uh, socket, through the socket external Python file here. So now how that looks like. So here we install um, a Python FMU library. It's already installed here. And then we compile this Python file using Python FMU and build FMU file. So you see, this is the Python file. So we have this Python file here. I compile it and in the build directory, I will add this FMU. You can actually change the build directories, for example, build two, right? Uh, Compiled, done, you see here. And then we have build two with the FMU and then the drag to Katia Magic and that's it pretty much. And before I installed uh, Python FMU, so people install Python FMU. But in our cases, uh, already satisfied, you see it's already installed. And that's pretty much it. This is the method, you know, and you get the directional synchronization. And uh, you can run all the modern Python capabilities for data analysis uh, together with SysML, UAF, or UML simulation. Thank you.